Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I am going to teach you how you can resolve the problem that you are facing with Life Reload in Android mostly. So it's basically related to the errors for Java Home or some other errors where you are not finding the emulators. So let's resolve that in this particular video. So let's get started. Now I am into the Ionic framework documentation where you can see the environment setup. Let me show you the version of Ionic for my now I'll go to developer for Android where I'll open the SDK manager in Android studio in which we need to set up the environment variables. So we'll open up the environment variables now and I'll create a new variable here by going to the new and we'll create the Android SDK root where I'll pass the SDK version which I'll get it from the Android studio directly. I'll just paste it and hit OK. Now in the path one, I'll create one where I'll pass the tools and other stuff where I'll go to the SDK location and there is no tools here but I have platforms, emulator and build tools. So we'll set that up now. now how I'll set it up? I'll go to the tools, platform tools and I'll copy the location and paste it here into the path one. But the initial path will take it from the Android SDK root. So I'll just paste it in this particular manner and it will have the same path. Okay. Now once that is done, I'll again go for the emulator one. So we'll have the same process for the emulator also. I'll just replace it. Now once that will be done, our structure is ready. Now for APK signer and zip align, we need to set up the build tools also for the latest version. Now I'll just do that. I'll have, I'll just copy the emulator and paste for the build tools where I'll go to the build, build tools and we need to go for the latest version here. Okay. I'll just copy the location and paste it here. All right. The earlier location will be the same. So this is set up now. Once that is done, in the path we have everything and I'll just go back and create a new project now for running the live reload. So what I'll do, I'll just show you the virtual manager. We already have one so we can run the emulator now. Okay. Now in the location, I'll just go to any location and we'll create a folder. Within that, I'm going to create the ionic project okay in this particular manner i'm just going to go for the angular and first step i'll just select the tabs and standalone one i'm going to select it okay so this is done now i'll just go inside the project folder and we'll set up for android okay let's do that ionic build at first for having the www folder once that is done i'll just add the android platform all right this is also added now i'll just simply go for the live reload one that's just external width okay once i do that up you see no device or emulator found that is the error we are facing but our emulator was not running so let's try to run this and try it again so i'll just go for that again i'm getting the same error now i'll just go for the ip config i'll just check my configuration and we'll copy that and we'll paste that up instead of the that's just external i'm going to use that's just host will be equals to the IP address and let's try with colon 8100 whether it works or not. So if I go with that, it is able to detect my emulator. Now I'll just get ahead and go with this particular one because I was getting the error. So I'll just remove the 8100 and we'll go for the IP address. Now everything was working fine except I got an error which is related to Java Home. Now I'll just open it up in Android Studio. Okay, this is opened up. Now for Java Home, I need to go to the settings. Okay. I'll just go to the settings and I'll go to the Gradle one here into the build tools. Now here JDK is already set up version 17.0.6. So I'll just get inside the Android folder in the program files and will I'm just looking at the location because I need to get inside the JVR one. Okay. That is the location which I need to pass for Java home. Okay. So I'll just create a variable here Java home and within that I'm going to pass till JVR once that is done. Let's try it now whether it works or not. So I'm just going to go ahead with the same stuff. Now again, I'm getting the error. So I need to go in inside the pin because all the files are there. So this location I'm going to pass in the path one. That is what I'm going to do now. I'll go inside the path one. Not exactly here in the path. Or should I do it directly in the Java home? Okay. Uh, let me pass it in the path. I think that will be better. So Java home slash pin and I'll remove it from the Java home. Okay, now I think it will be set up. Let's try it once again. I'll just close everything and open it up again because sometimes it takes some time to render everything. I'll just go for it again. Let's see whether it works or not. All right, it is coming up and let's see. 
whether it works in our emulator or not let's wait for it until it is done now the emulator is already opened up actually let's align everything properly so that we can see whether there is any change or not now you can see it is working it is coming up and uh, there you go you can see the application is running on your emulator pretty nicely so this is what i wanted to show you and i hope you have understood it pretty nicely so with this i'll wrap up this lecture thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button do subscribe to the channel if you're new here and i'll sign off for the day but i'll see you next time very soon